God onto someone who is so high and lifted up far above all your problems. It takes you from looking inward and it brings you upward and outward. Amen? Shoo. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, goodness, goodness. See, that scripture says, taste and see that the Lord is what? Good. You were tasting it. You were feeling it. Tangible goodness. Oh. Anybody that's scared of God doesn't know the goodness of God. Because he's so good, you can't help but run to him, not from him. When you get revelation of the glory of God, it will deepen your worship. It will deepen your worship. The heavens declare the glory of God. That was how he first revealed himself to me as a child. Let's stand. I just, um, this song, I, I wanted to close with this song because it's going to be a new song for us. It's called Let It Rise. It's really an old song, but it's such an appropriate good song. And it's, they're singing the scripture that the glory of the Lord let it rise upon us. Amen? Let the praises of our King rise upon us. We want to be a church where the glory of God is seen. Amen? My prayer has always been, as soon as they open the doors, let your glory hit them. Let them see it. Let them feel it. But in order for that to happen, it's not just going to all of a sudden, boo. It's going to be when we recognize it and we acknowledge the glory and we start carrying the glory, having faith for the glory and believe for the glory. And understand in the little tiny finite understanding that God can give us of what the glory is. It's not even what it's, it's, it is the manifestation of, a, of him, of him. It's so complex, but it's so profound, isn't it? Man, I want to just transition us into this song by praying. Um, put your hands up to the Lord. I want to be introducing the glory of the Lord more and more and more into our services. We're going into revival. We're going into revival. What does that mean? We're going into a place where people will see the goodness of God. That's what we want seen. We want people to come in and see he's a good God. He's not a God you need to be afraid of. He's not an angry God. He's not a mad God. He's a loving God. He's a God who wants to heal you. He wants to uh, raise you up. He wants to uh, fix your broken life and your broken heart. He's a good God. He's a merciful God. He's a compassionate God. And we need the glory of God. The Bible says it has risen upon us. But yet there's a part of us that needs to allow the process. We need to get out of the way, get polished, get cleansed. And let that glory be seen. Let, uh, we need to start shining and emitting and reflecting. Oh, that's a whole other part I didn't get into. But not only do we shine, but if something is very shiny and polished, when you look in it, you see what? Your reflection. And when they see the reflection, it's not supposed to be you. It's supposed to be him. We want them to see the reflection of God. God's reflection on us. On CRC. On this ministry. 
We want them to see the reflection of Jesus. We want them to smell the fragrance of Jesus. We want them to taste the goodness of Jesus, right? Oh, Lord. So let's put our hands up to heaven. Lord, this is a lot to grasp in these little minds and bodies that you created us in, Lord. But yet, Father, you said that by the spirit of revelation, that we would understand, that we would get a glimpse, that we would get a taste, and that we would know that the earth would be filled with the knowledge of your glory. God, we need to go to a new place in this. We need to individually and corporately go to a new level of your glory. And Lord, I'm asking you to take us there individually and corporately by your spirit. That the glory of the Lord would rise upon us and be seen upon us, God. That we would arise and shine that we would be that light in the darkness of Ocean County and Monmouth County, Lord. That that light would draw all men to you, God. We want to be a place where your goodness is seen. Lord. Lord, we just commit ourselves to you tonight. We place ourselves fresh and on the altar tonight, God. We ask you to polish us, clean us up, let us shine, let us just reflect you and your glory and your goodness, God. Let us be mindful of who you are, how big you are, how powerful you are, how almighty you are, and that you have chosen to dwell in us and among us, God. Jesus, don't let us limit you because of ourselves and our own limitations. Don't let us limit you in us. Gosh, Lord, I can't even humanize these the words, but Father, do it. Take us in our level of understanding over the next weeks into a new level of understanding and reflecting your glory. Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 We're going to close with this. Jesus.